Okay, we are going to begin with the class for um, July 28th. This will be the last class for the course for the intermediate course. Good evening, Tatiana. Thank you for Good being evening, early. Teacher. Thank you for being early. Now, in a minute, we are going to begin with the with the class. Okay. Okay, is it raining there in your area, Tatiana? No, it's not raining here. It's not raining there. Okay, good evening, Noe. Good evening, Tatiana. We are about to begin, uh, probably because of the rain. Uh, your classmates have had like some problems. Are you listening listen to me, teacher? Yes, I can listen to you. Oh, perfect. Now uh, we are going just to review a little bit of the previous class. And in the meantime, we are going to wait for your classmates. We are just going to check here. Okay, as you were, uh, we were studying yesterday, we were studying the models, right? Uh, how to use it for an obligation, how to use it for a recommendation. And also uh, we were studying it like we can use it in negative and positive statements also. And we have presentations today, right? That was the homework uh, you, you had to do, but if you don't have, you didn't have time to prepare presentations or pictures, um, that's okay. You just need to tell me recommendations about a place. That is like the topic that we are going to study today, recommend a place to travel, use the vocabulary you studied on section five and try to convince your classmates to travel to this specific place explain different activities you can do there and also the experiences they will live by going there. So for example, list of advices, right? Like why should this person do and see? What kind of food would you recommend? What kind of clothes do you need to bring with you, right? Do you, or that she needs or he needs to bring with you? So, or, or, or with him or with her. And we are going to, if you have time, we are going to begin with the reading. We are going to finish with the presentation because we're still missing some people, right? Let me see here. Yes, we're just uh, three right now. But if you want to, we can begin with this exercise and then we can continue with the presentation. Now we are going to talk about um, new vocabulary, right? It says, read a travel guide about Bangkok to practice and improve your reading skills, okay? Do the preparation task first, then read the text and do the exercises. So we are going to uh, know a little bit about Bangkok. The, uh, it, have, it has like very difficult names to pronounce. La pronunciación de los nombres de Bangkok es difícil pero solo es para obtener más vocabulario. So uh, we are going to know, or we are going to choose right now or match the meaning of the word. And over here we have the word, right? For example, the first one is uh, dirty from traffic or chemicals. What is the correct word for this? Polluted, express, noodles, alternative, a stand or authentic. I think that polluted. Very good, polluted, right? Very good. Because it's about pollution, right? Contamination. Number two, real or normal for a place. 
not especially for tourists. Real or normal for a place, but not especially for tourists. Express mm -hmm. noodles, alternative as 10, authentic. <laughs> Which one? And if you don't know, it's okay, right? If you don't know, mm. we can check it later. Sure. Okay, very good. We are going to check uh, later the meaning. Number three, another way to do something. Alternative. Alternative, very okay. good. Number four, fast. Express. Express. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number five, a table where food or other things are sold in a market. A stand. A stand. Yeah. Very good. And six, a long thin food made from flour, water, and eggs. Mm -hmm. A long a long thin food made from flour, water, noodles? and eggs. noodles, right? Fideos, noodles, very good. So the only one that we have um, authentic is authentic. Yes, number yeah. number two is authentic. We are going to check it here. This is uh, dairy from traffic or chemicals, polluted, right? Real or normal for a place, but not especially for tourists, authentic. Another way to do something like alternative fast express a table where food or other things are sold in a market as ten, and a long thin food made from flour water and eggs noodles and we have bangkok here as you can see it's a big city it's a it's a it's a real big place where you can travel and we are going to read some information about bangkok okay we are going to begin with this this is a reading. Esta es una práctica de lectura, ¿verdad? Reading practice. So we are going to read right now. Uh, who wants to begin reading? Me, teacher. Okay, Tatiana, go ahead. A travel guide. Whether you're traveling to the Iceland of the mountains of Thailand, you are likely to spend at least one night in its capital city on the way. Bangkok might be noisy and polluted, but it's also an exciting city with plenty of things to see and do. Why not make it a longer stay? Where to stay? Yeah, the, go ahead. The Khao San Ro was a famous traveler spot even before Leonardo DiCaprio's character in the film The Beach stayed there. But it's noisy. Not very pretty and not very Thai. For something more authentic, Bra Kanok offers an alternative place to stay with with its fantastic street markets where every day Bangkok people eat, work, and live. It's not a convenient for the main tourist sites, but it has a sky train station. So you can be at the Grand Palace in 20 minutes. How to get around? Bangkok's traffic can be a nightmare. Sure, you can easily take a taxi if you want to spend hours stuck in traffic jams. But there are too much better ways to get around the city, to explore the temples and historical sites. Catch an express boat river taxi or a long tail boat along the Cow, Chow, Praja River, and the canals. For the modern part of the city, the SkyTrain is a fast, cheap way to travel from the river to the shopping malls and nightlife of Sukhumvit and the famous. Ay, qué raro Chat, ese <laughs> yeah, Chat to Check. Chat to Check, Street mm -hmm. Market. Very good, very good. That's yes, very good. Yeah, it's kind of complicated, uh, the ring because of the name of Bangkok. Okay, now we're going to check 
how do you say isla in english island island right island island island, island. island is islandia the country but island. if we want to say isla is island okay very island. good yes but the rest was really good you have very good pronunciation i need someone else who will help me with the second part who wants to help me with the second part this one ¿Quién me quiere ayudar con esta parte a leer? A volunteer? Volunteers? Where to eat and what to do? Me, teacher. Alicia. Okay. okay, Alicia, go ahead. Where to eat? Read, please. Okay, where to eat? The seafood as, as well is every everywhere that street food is among the best in the world and for around five dollars you can eat a filling and delicious meal some food stands have little plastic seats where you can sit and eat and they cook the same dish over and over like fried chicken or rice or pad thai noodles head for chinatown jao warak street street and choose where whatever looks most interesting from the many excellent chinese and thai restaurants and food stands what to do mm -hmm. after you have seen the main sites like the Yan uh, Buddha at the temple of Wat Po and the spectacular Ram Palace and shopped at Chak 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 Market. <laughs> Chak Chak Market, yeah. <laughs> Check out the snake farm and watch the live snake show. You can even touch a snake yourself if you want to. Okay, very good, very good. Now, this is talking about uh, the food that you can eat everywhere and only with $5. And then what to do? You can go to the giant Buddha, right? giant buddha and the grand palace and you can go to the market and you also you can see a live snake show right snake do you like snakes no. yes right no right <laughs> no. no also in attack there are some people with the snakes right but or in some town so uh we this is a reading for uh bangkok right it's like a travel guide way to where to stay how to get around, like how you move around the city and also uh, where to eat and what to do. Now, do you have any questions about these new words, nuevas palabras, pronunciation? No? No questions? No questions, okay. Now we are going to continue. Uh, since you don't have questions, it's just a, a really fast activity. We are going to like play a, a little game uh, related to Bangkok, right? About the reading that we have read. If you want to, you can participate. Or if you don't want to, you can just watch and guess the, the answers. So we are going to start here. And what you have to do is just to, if you want to participate, you just need to uh, go to kahoot.it or in, and you need to enter that pin. Or if you want to, you just need to scan it, right? You just need to scan the, the code. I will scan it right now with my phone and we will begin the game. Or you just need to stay there and we will 
we will check right the the answers. Okay, now this is just true or false, verdadero o falso, de acuerdo a la lectura, verdad? Okay, it says one time is enough to see Bangkok. Is that true or false? One time is enough to see Bangkok. True or false? False. False. Let's see. Yes, is a false, right? Very good. According to the reading, it's not enough one time. Next one. True or false? Khao San Road is an authentic Thai area of the city. True or false? True or false? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, we are going to choose true. Okay, let's see. It's false. It's false. It's not an authentic Thai area of the city. Let's see. Next one. Yes, because it was a long reading, right? It says, Fra Canon is farther away from the main tourist sites than Khao San Road is. True or false? It's true, right? Very good, it's true. True. Yes, it's true, correct. Next one. The riverboat taxis often get stuck in traffic too. True or false? True. True. Okay, it says it's false. false. It's false. It's not true. It's false. Okay. Next one. Taking is the SkyTrain is uh the SkyTrain is a faster way to see the city than going by taxi. Taking the SkyTrain is faster way to see the city than going by taxi. True or false? I think true. True, true. I confuse it to <laughs> to France. Yes, yes, it's true. It is true. Oh. Very good. Very good. And last one, I guess. No, we have two more. No, I guess this is the last one. You need to choose where to eat carefully. True or false? It's false. false, right? False. Okay, that's the correct answer. False. Very good. Now we have practiced a little bit of vocabulary and also uh, this is the end of the game. Tatiana number two, and I guess this is number one. We're very good. Thank you for participating. And now we're going to continue with uh, section five, okay? Now uh, we're going to check the homework, the presentation. Did you do your homework? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, remember yes, that is a presentation. If you don't have a presentation, it's okay. Uh, you can just tell me the, the, the things, right? The, the recommendations. So who wants to begin? Me, teacher. Okay, Tatiana. Do you have a presentation or you're going yes, just to say the card? I have a presentation. Okay. Um, I, where, where, 
está? ¿Dónde está? Here. Uy. <laughs> kind of complicated, right? Yes. Bye. Just one presentation. Okay, no problem. Um, hello. I traveled to the Ruta de las Flores last year with my husband, and we ate delicious food and drink coffee with our friends. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're if you visit the Ruta de las Flores, you should take a lot of beautiful pictures. Mm -hmm. The food is delicious and the flavors and combinations unique to the area while people are very friendly and attentive to the tourists mm -hmm. if it's possible you should explore many areas on foot mm -hmm. uh, through the historical town centers the green lagoon of apaneca and beautiful white flowers that bloom in may also, you can visit Nahuizalco. The This place is a pre-Hispanic town and it names, means for Izalcos. Uh, you can also visit uh, Mercado Nocturno too. Mm -hmm. Then you can visit Salcoatitan and you should eat fried yuca. It's delicious. <laughs> and you can visit Huayua too and you should go to Los Chorros de la Calera. It's a beautiful place. That's okay. it. Very good. Very good presentation. And the presentation, the pictures are really cool also. So, uh, La, La Ruta de las Flores is different places, right? Salcoatitán. Yes. Huayua, Nahuizalco, Ataco, Apaneca. And you visited all of that in one day or? No, no. In one week. <laughs> in one week okay very good yeah okay it's a long place very good but very very cool pictures very good pictures thank you thank you tatiana very good now i need another volunteer me teacher okay rosa maria right yes Okay, very I, good. I, I don't have presentation on okay. the text. <laughs> okay, no problem. You should go to on vacation uh, at Playa El Tunco in Tamanique La Libertad. Mm -hmm. If you want to surf, you had better take to surf table. Uh, you need to bring some money to eat in the place. There are many options. You don't have to forget to take pictures. You opt to buy some souvenir or the sport for your family. That's it. Okay, very good. So it's a Playa El Tunco, right? Yes. yes. Okay, what, what is the meaning of souvenir? Eh, recuerdos. Recuerdos, very good. <laughs> what kind of souvenirs did you buy there or can you buy there? Um, teacher. T-shirts, t-shirts, pulseras, no sé cómo, cómo bracelets, decir. bracelets, 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 collares, uh -huh. oh, yeah, necklace, oh. necklaces, yeah. very good, <laughs> very good, Rosa Maria, <laughs> very good play, very good uh, presentation. Next one, do we have another person? Teacher. Okay, Noé. Uh, Voy a compartir la pantalla. Ok.
teacher. Yes. Uh, ¿Se puede ver? Yes, I can see it. Yes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, uh, this is the la un de alegría. In Zulotan. Yes, it's the la un de alegría is not it's natural trasure of Salvador located in the department of Zulotan. The place is very nice. Super smelly. You can say a lot. Uh, it is inside a crater. You can walk around the Laguna with care. Uh, there should be area to sit and see the beauty of the nature. You must wear a hat or cat and glasses. Uh, sunglasses. You need to bring enough water. Uh, you should not or shouldn't go in sandals, big sandals, because the terrain is not flat. Uh, you should bring food and enjoy food in the rock in this space. It's very nice uh, for enjoy with family. Okay, very good, very good. So it was Alegría Lagoon, right? La Laguna de Alegría, teacher. Okay, is that a recent picture or? No, es es una fotografía. Um, te lo voy a decir en inglés. Uh, este, I visited client that area for collection as you the opportunity to go the place and ah. uh, visit. Uh, Decline. Ah, ok. Ajá. Es que anduve cobrando en esa <ríe> zona. Ajá, me tocó visitar. Hace una auditoría a mis clientes. Ah, ya, usted. ¿Es una nueva foto o es una nueva foto? No, no, es una foto. Ah, ok, ya, usted. ¿Y usted dijo que se siente como sulfur? Sulfur es este. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Sulfur es. Eh, esta palabra se me escapa. Uh -huh. Es eh, azufre. azufre. Yes, azufre. azufre. So uh -huh. you, cannot, you cannot swim into the lagoon. Yes. Eh, eh, por, eh, eh, this, eh, this is. Um, stones, stone. You mm -hmm. can see mm -hmm. uh, the the color uh, the stone no is this yellow. No. Uh, can you see is yellow because uh, by uh, sulfur because of the sulfur. Yes, uh, impregnant in 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 the stone. Okay, so uh, nobody can swim there because of the sulfur. So, yes. Is that what happens if somebody goes into the lagoon? ¿Qué pasa si alguien se mete ahí? Eh, se puede bañar. Yo, por ejemplo, yo le digo, um, eh, you can stay a bath. O sea, tú puedes bañar. Mm -hmm. Pero eh, no sé cómo decir, no te debes meter muy profundo porque en medio tiene un agujero, tiene un hoyo. Ah, there is a hole in the middle yes. of the lagoon. Yes, eh, eh, tiene un hoyo y un remolino. Ah, ok. And what happens? You, you can go into the, into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> no se sabe, eh, pero es pequeña, pero pues, eh, siempre tiene el riesgo porque tiene un remolino en medio y no se sabe pues hasta ahora cuál es el fondo hacia dónde va, ¿verdad? Pero ese cráter, está en el cráter en el eh, montaña de Usulotan, Alegría. Usulotan. Y decir Alegría. Ok, Alegría. Ok, very good. I didn't know that. I didn't know that there was a hole. There was a swirl also in, in the middle of the lagoon. I didn't know that. No, oh, Okay, very good, very good presentation, Noe. Okay, teacher, thank you. Very good, very good. Now, next one, do we have another another person who would like to participate? Alguien más que hizo la presentación?
another person, Carla de Alegría, but not the Pueblo de Alegría of Sultan, right? It's another. <laughs> No, pero no, yo soy de Sonsonate. Ah, okay. Sonsonate, ok, muy mm. bien. Ok, I'm, in my personal case, I would like to highly recommend mm. uh, this amazing place to visit, the Port of La Libertad. Okay. Because I love the beaches, so it's my favorite place to visit on vacations. Because I prefer the beach than mountain, mm -hmm. especially when I visited for the first time La Libertad. I really like it so much. So you, so you should visit the port of La Libertad because it's the wonder. Or El Salvador Coast area. Um, certainly, the Port de la Libertad is one of the main tourist attraction on El Salvador. Mm -hmm. It's a popular place. And the question will be, what is this, pla this place so special? Mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you at least three important points. First of all, it is located just a few minutes from the capital or our country. So you don't need to travel long distances. Second point, it has many beaches to choose and it, and it has, uh, it has beach, beaches for surfing. For example, the, the beach El Tunco, mm -hmm. where foreign tourists love to practice this sport. And the third reason, the Port of La Libertad is well known for his variety of restaurants and hotels, besides the sale of fresh seafood mm -hmm. on the dock, uh, at a much more affordable price than in other areas of the country. Now that you know a little more about the Port of La Libertad, you can visit it and forget about the stress, it's appreciate his beauty, practice sports and spend a wonderful time with your family or friends or a special person and enjoy its cuisine. So that's it, my presentation. Okay, very good. The Port of La Libertad, right? And have you have you gone there or you have you, you have seen it? Have you visited it? Yes, I have gone a couple of times. Uh -huh. And I like it so much. Uh, I visited the Cadejo restaurant. And is and it good? The, yes, yes. Uh -huh. I, I, I really like the, that, that beer <laughs> in the uh -huh. restaurant too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like beer. Uh -huh. <laughs> like so beer. I, I enjoyed a lot uh, that restaurant. Okay. So I recommend you <laughs> the, this vacation. <laughs> yes, uh, probably we will try to go to some of the beaches. Uh, are you going to go this uh, this vacation on, on in August? Mm -hmm. Yes, with your family. Yes, uh -huh. I, in fact, uh, I would like to visit again. Uh, so other place, I would like to visit the Chapultepec cervecería eh, here eh, there in, in, in the port of la libertad so i hope that <laughs> okay hopefully right you will go uh -huh. okay very good thank you very much for your presentation carla very good you. and you did very well because you talked about different different things now uh, let's see another person another volunteer Another person, volunteer? No, no volunteers. <laughs> we have, well, Jaime, Jaime, right? Hey, teacher, I will try. <laughs> okay, no problem, that's okay. okay. Go ahead, Jaime. I don't, I don't, I don't. 
have a presentation, only read my homework. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay. okay. Bueno, I, I, I will tell you about a trip to a mountain hotel in Trapinos. This place is located in San Ignacio Charatenango. First of all, you should go there because it's a cool place with large extension of forest and trees to walk. When you enter, you have to pay a value for the stay. It is for the use of the facilities, but it includes a consumable bonus in the restaurant for $6 per person. They have to pay people from seven years of age. You should not go there if the objective is to swim, since the pool area is not currently enabled for COVID-19. Okay. <laughs> the the moves we are a sweater because of the cold weather you don't you don't have to bring food uh, you don't have to make come uh, forgotta compact come fires forgotta how do you say forgotta come fires bonfires bonfires you don't, fire. you don't have to make come fires or you can bring uh, amacas, how do you say amacas? Hammock. Hammocks. You can bring you can bring hammocks to rest. You should bring money to buy food and the, and rent the bikes. I I would also recommend it if your intention is to stay for one one day, and you can make reservation and the hotel or see. Or if you decided to go for a day, it's not necessary to book. But in this case, you only use the facilities and not the rooms. Okay, okay, very good, very good. That's all, right, Jaime? That's all your presentation. Okay, only teacher. okay very good, only that. Uh, it says uh, Hotel Entre Pinos. Where is that located in Chalatenango, right? San, San Ignacio. San Ignacio, okay. okay. Sobre la troncal del norte, este, yendo para el Poy. Uh, San Ignacio, a Cabalite, en San Ignacio, prácticamente. Okay, very good. And is it a beautiful place? This is a very place. It's for go i work by well, my family mm -hmm. uh, one day and it's cool it's really cool okay very good and you said that it's, it's kind of deteriorated right but you the the weather is cool and also uh facilities you mentioned the facilities what is the meaning of facilities in spanish excuse me what is the meaning of facilities in spanish Mm. You said that it has different facilities that you have to pay for, but you, you have a lot of facilities there in the hotel. What is the meaning of facilities? ¿Qué quiere decir facilities en español? Facilidades. Mm -hmm. Facilidades, but what would be like a facilidad? A faci Unas comodidades, right? You have a lot of like an extra bonus, right? Extra things that you can okay. enjoy. Okay, very good. It was really good, Jaime. Uh, probably one day I will go and I will pay the $6 and I will be able to take pictures. Hey? But I will take your recommendation. Very good presentation, Jaime. Teacher. Yes? Uh, Jaime, it's expensive. This is space. Uh, six Six dollars. For person, oh, okay. thank you. Uh, include, include, <laughs> uh, cuatro, bueno, cuatro en alimento y tres de, de uso, instalaciones, eso. Es como un bono. Extra. 
eh, usted paga seis, por ejemplo, e incluye Ajá. cuatro de, en consumible, que usted puede ir a un, a un restaurante a, al almuerzo, por ejemplo, pero a veces el almuerzo vale seis, tiene que poner dos dólares hoy. Okay, <laughs> thank you for your information. <laughs> for next vacation, right? For next vacation. For next vacation in a group. Yes, in a group. Very good. <laughs> Now, do we have another person, another participant, volunteer for the presentation? Another person. We have Alicia. We have Jaime. Well, Jaime had some problems. Jaime Hernandez. Uh, Brian. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> I have a problem with my with my computer. <laughs> Actually, teacher, I can I can listen only my phone. Yes, you're because using your phone, right? Yes, because I have a recommendation. <laughs> okay, what would be your recommendation? <laughs> yes, uh, it's a recommendation. I I have a presentation for for what everybody. Okay. But uh, only I speak. Okay. Uh, it's it's recommended visit uh, with the Packet City for now the Cerro Las Pavas. Mm -hmm. I know the um, uh, the our Aguar Monte Maria, Nuestra mm -hmm. <laughs> Maria. Okay. Very people travel and the other departments for visit uh, the Cerro Las Pavas. And, and uh, I recommend uh, to eat uh, chorizos in Cojutepeque City. It's delicious. Okay. <laughs> What it, is delicious and um, and other place is beautiful when the people in uh, in Siam or the Peke City uh, in the train say uh, watch a message uh, welcome welcome visit of the Peke City <laughs> okay very good very good Jaime so you recommend eat chorizos there yes it's, it's very delicious this year Chorizos and butifarras. Butifarras. Salchichas. Okay, very good. And yes. also going to Cerro de las Pavas, right? Yes, it's, yes. It's. Okay, I will Google it and I probably I will go there. Thank you very much. Jaime, even though you don't you don't have the computer now. Uh, <laughs> very good presentation. Very good. Okay, teacher. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. now I do have someone else. Or that's it. Alguien más? Nobody else? Okay. So I guess that we don't have so and we don't have another participant. We are going uh, to finish the class with a little review then because we almost finish. Remember that the next week you don't have classes until the second week of August, right? If you continue with, with the course. Uh, so just let me see here. I guess I have a little review and you can tell me, you can tell me if you are able to participate or see it. Just let me open the, the test because it's just a little review, okay? Just one moment, please. Okay, now we are going to have a... Um, a review about the things that we studied are the same similar questions that you completed in the platform i guess that you all of you have completed the platform so we are going to to do that okay if you want to participate you can go 
to this site, kahoot.it, or you can scan the code and, or you can tell me just the answers, right? Now we are going to begin, let me see here. Okay, as it says here, choose the best adjective for the sentence. I love my neighborhood. It's very safe. Dangerous, inconvenient, safe, ugly. Safe, right? Yes, safe. 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 Let's yeah. see here. Yes, correct. Safe. Very good. Let's see next one. I live on a very busy street. It can get a little bit modern, noisy, spacious, clean. Noisy. Noisy, let's see. Noisy, very good. Next one. It's space to have a parking spaces near my apartment. It's comfortable, convenient, dingy, noisy. Convenient. 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 Very good, convenient. I guess that you did all the exercises right from, from the platform. Very good. Now let's see next one. Our apartment is too small. There are, there are not a space enough, not big enough, not rooms enough, not enough rooms. Not space enough. Not space. Not enough rooms. Not enough rooms. Not space. Not enough rooms. Remember, there are not enough rooms, right? Very good, no problem. That's the next one. Okay. This is just a review. Esto estamos repasando, verdad? Our house is modern and very bright. It has cramped windows, private windows, huge windows, or dingy windows? Huge windows. Huge. Huge. huge, very good, huge. Huge is like really big, right? Very good. Next one, let's see. People can see into our house. There is not privacy enough, not enough noise, not enough space, not enough privacy. Not enough privacy. privacy. Not enough privacy. Let's see. Very good. Not enough privacy. Next one. It says, my car is too small. It doesn't have not a space enough, enough space, not space, very big. Enough space. Enough space. Enough space. Enough space. Enough space. Enough space. Very good. It doesn't have enough space. Next one. My apartment doesn't have my old one. My apartment doesn't have as many windows as my old one. Much windows. One window, no windows. As many windows as many windows as. Many windows as, windows as. Very good. As many windows as my old was comparing, right? Comparing. Very good. Next one. Our house is your apartment. As convenient, convenient, as convenient, as inconvenient. As, as convenient, convenient, as convenient, as. As convenient, as. Very good. Perfect. Next one. Modern apartments often don't have older ones. As many space, as much space as, very spacious or convenient. As much space as. As much space as. As much space as. Let me see. As much space as. Very good. It's like an uncountable now, right? And we are comparing. Very good. I don't like my new job. I wish it were more fun, 
more fun. It was more fun to have more fun. It were more fun. It were more fun. Mm -hmm. To have more fun. It was more fun. Let's see. It were more fun, right? It were. It was no right because it's like a wish, right? I wish it mm -hmm. were. Yes. Yes, me gustaría que fuera. Uh -huh. Exactly, it were. Next one, let's see. I can't find my new cell phone. I wish I can find it. I wish I find it. I wish I could find it or I wish to find it. I, I wish I could, I could find it. Find okay, it. let's see. Exactly, I wish I could find it very well. Next one. My boyfriend is in good shape. I wish he in good shape. He was in good shape. He goes to the gym. He were in good shape. He were in good, he shape. Were in good shape. He were in good shape. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, right. Let's see. He were in good shape. He was? Yes. No. Remember, no. when we use yeah. I wish, he yes. were. Yes. I wish he were. Me gustaría que él estuviera, ¿verdad? Que estuviera en buen forma. Entonces, I wish he were. Only with, yes. with yes. wish is the exception. Next one. Have you ever Spanish food? Have you ever eat? Have you ever eat? Have you ever eaten or have you ever eat it? Have you ever eaten? E eating. Eating. Eaten. Eaten. Right. Number uh, this is a color blue, right? Yeah. Blue color. Eating. Okay, let's see. Turn blue. Oh. Eaten. Very good. The past participles, right? We need to learn that. Very good. Let's see next one. Yes, I have. I space to a Spanish restaurant last week. I went, I goes, I go, or I was. I, I went. Was. Went. I was or I went? Went. 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 Let's see. Went. I was. went. I went to a Spanish went. restaurant. Went. Yo fui, verdad? Yo fui a un restaurante la semana pasada. Let's see next one. The next one is, did you eat? It's like a conversation, right? So did you like it? Did you like it? Did you like it? Or did, did you, you like, like did you the like red color? Like the one. red one, right? Red, red one, red okay, color. let's see. Did you like it? Very good, did you like it? It's impressive because we have the auxiliary, right? Yes. Let's see the next one. Let's see the next one is yes. How do you answer that question? Yes. I yes, it were awful. Yes, it was delicious. Yes, delicious. Yes, I disliked it. It was delicious. It was delicious. It was delicious. Yes, it was delicious. Very good. Next one. Let's see. We almost finished. It says, what space after class today? What you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to? Or what do you go to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Let's see. Hello. Yellow, let's see. Very good. What are you going to do? What are you going to do is missing the verb to be, right? Next one, let's see. I'm definitely a movie with a friend. I'm definitely going to watch, will watch, watch, where watch a movie with a friend. We're going to watch. We're going to watch. Red one. Red one. Okay. Somebody mm -hmm. says we'll watch. Let's see. Going to watch. 
going to watch a definite reader. So we are sure about that, right? Definitely going to watch. Very good. Next one, let's see. When space their vacation. When they take their vacation. When are they going to take their vacation? When are going to take their vacation and when will they take their vacation? Yellow one. Yellow one. When are they going to take? Okay, let's see. When are they going to take their vacation? Very good. ¿Cuándo se van a tomar la vacación ellos, verdad? And I guess this is the last one, right? Let me see. 21. I think they space on a cruise in June or July. I think they are going to go. They will go. They will. They go. Will go. Will go. Will go. Are you sure? Red yes. one. The red one or the yellow one? Which the one? yellow one. Okay. Let's see. They will go, right? Because I think, yo creo, ¿verdad? no estoy uh -huh. seguro. I think they will go on a cruise in June or July. Uh, and this is the last one, I guess. Let's see here. I've decided I space study another language. I've decided I did study. I will. I don't. I am going to study another language. I'm going to uh, green one. The green one. I've decided I am, I going, am, to am going to study another language. Okay, let's see. I am going to, right? Because I've decided, right? Ya decidí. Yeah. I've decided I'm going to study another language. Wait, uh, Mm -hmm. We can say we're right if we're if we not sure, but it's okay. Very good, very good. Now, let's see here. Very good. Now, I don't know if you have any other question right now with this uh, vocabulary, any other doubt, questions? Preguntas que tengan que les hayan quedado, dudas? No questions? No, teacher. No, no teacher. No questions. No, okay. No, no Do you want me? Repasar. Yes, just review, <laughs> review it for um, on vacation, right? <laughs> yes. Very good. And do you do you want me to send this to the group, to the WhatsApp group, this presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay. Quieren que se les envíe la presentación? Sí, Please. Verdad? Yes, okay. okay, I will send it to the group after the class. And I wish you to have a very good uh, vacation. Enjoy with your family, with your friends. And please try to review English, right? And if you have any doubt or any question, let me know, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. I will see you later and have a nice night, okay? See you later. See you later. See you, see you later. Have a nice vacation. Have a nice vacation. Enjoy. Happy vacation. And take care. Goodbye. 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 See you later. Bye. Bye.